On Thursday, June 27th, dozens of classic cars, muscle cars, and hot rods were on display throughout the grounds of Canterbury Village. Hosted by Shifters Auto Club, car buffs are invited to park and hang out every Thursday through August 29th. We've started a cruise night here on Thursday night. Uh, the Shifters car, car Club is involved with Joe Hillebrand at Street Signs. Um, we're doing this, we're doing 50-50 and we're raising money for Shop with the Cops. So 50% of what we raise goes to the person that buys 50-50 ticket. The other 50% will go with Shop with the Cops at the end of the year. And um, we're hoping to you know, get a good turnout as far as money. The Keith, the owner of Canterbury, has offered to match us dollar for dollar. So whatever we raise from the community to give back, he will match. The Shifters Auto Club has partnered with Joe Hildebrand of Classic Street Signs and Neon, who recently moved into the yellow building at Canterbury Village. I've had this little small business that I've been traveling around the country for about the last eight years. Um, I sell neon clocks, neon signs, automotive memorabilia, Woodward Dream Cruise merchandise this time of year. Um, so I kind of got tired of all this traveling, and I talked to Keith Aldrich, the owner of the property, and he's, when I got back in March, and he had the building available for rent. And so I said, yeah, I'm going to do it. So I'm not going to be doing as much traveling. Um, it's been fun, a learning ex big learning experience. Instead of just traveling from place to place, I'm here. Um, one of the shop owners, as I think I mentioned earlier, said, hey, we don't have anything going on on September 1st. We need a car show here. And I kind of agreed. I've been to many car shows here over Labor Day weekend in the past to sell my merchandise. And um, I said, okay, well, let's go for it. And then one thing led to another. And, you know, I got the car show started here on Thursday nights. That was one of the other things Keith asks me to do. Um, and that's been very successful as well. So. Hildebrand also happens to be a member of the Lake Orion Lions Club, who will be hosting a cruise night of their own on Sunday, September 1st, right here at Canterbury Village. The event will act as a fundraiser for the Lions Club to help them with their charitable efforts in the community. Hoping to fill the park here with cars. Uh, we'll have um, our Lions Club out helping with different things. We're going to bring out some of our charities. We're hoping to get Leader Dog, um, maybe do our kids site program to check the eyesight on the kids um, just have a fun day with the shops open for the you know the women to come there's something to do for everybody um, they'll have probably have the bounce houses out for the kids and then we've got the car show for the guys um, it goes to fund a lot of our charitable events we've got leader dog for the blind um, I'm going to let Jim here talk about one of our <laughs> biggest charities that we He's got the shirt on. we got to let him talk. It's, it's our uh, Lions Bear Lake Camp. And Jim, you can talk about that, I think. Visually impaired youth shoot archery, paddle boats, swim. They do cannibals into the lake. Uh, they do everything that you and I did. And I've heard many stories where they don't want to go to camp, and they fight and scream, and then they get to camp, and then they find out, everybody at camp is in the same boat they are, and then they start bonding, and then they don't want to leave. Lions Club member Mike Pichelis brought his 29 Ford Model A Roadster to the show. The hot rod appears on promotional flyers for the upcoming car cruise. This is a 29 Ford Model A Roadster on a 32 replica Pete and Jake's frame with a 49 to 53 flat head with Offenheiser, head, Offenheiser heads in intake with Stromberg carburetors, uh, winter's quick change rear end and a Ford C4 transmission. So it's a traditional hot rod. I found it uh, pretty much like you see it uh, last winter in Casper, Wyoming and bought it through eBay, which is kind of crazy. That's a whole story in itself, but uh, had it shipped here and I've been changing things on it to my taste since I got it. So uh, hot rods are never done. You're always going to be doing something, changing something and playing around with it. That's the fun part of them. If you'd like to take part in the Lions Club's charity car show on Sunday, September 1st, you can swing by Classic Street Signs at Canterbury Village to pick up a registration form, or you can visit LakeOrionLions.org. From Canterbury Village, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.